Uh, welcome back to Longevity Now, Longevity Now FL. Uh, I'm Luigi Fontana, the Scientific Director of the Charles Perkins Center RPA Clinic of the University of Sydney. Today we're going to talk about ketogenic diet and cell senescence. Yes, because a new study demonstrated that consuming ketogenic diets may increase cellular senescence. As you know, Ketogenic diets, so high-fat, low-carb ketogenic diets, have gained huge popularity over recent years for weight loss. But in a recent paper, David Juice Research Group has demonstrated that two different types of ketogenic diets with different composition of uh, uh, fatty acids induce a significant increase in cellular senescence in various in, in many organs including the heart and kidney in uh, experimental black six mice the researchers observed several markers of cell senescence uh, uh, including beta gal p21 p53 as well as as an increase in pro-inflammatory markers typically of the SASP, the senescence associated secretory phenotype. And unfortunately, these effects were not only evident in mice, but also in humans who consume a ketogenic diet for six months. Now, uh, this study is very, very well done with a lot of experiments uh, in animals, humans, different models, uh, pharmacological inhibition. Uh, in summary, the mechanism behind these uh, changes involves MPK uh, uh, activation and the inactivation of M2, MDM2 by caspase 2, leading to the accumulation of P53 and the induction of P21. The uh, robustness of this uh, ketogenic diet induced activation of cell senescence was corroborated by other experiments, as I said, using P53 and caspase to knock out mice, along with inhibitors of MPK, P21, caspase 2. So very, very strong data. <coughs> Additionally, as I already said, inflammatory biomarkers associated with uh, SASP were elevated in the serum of mice on a ketogenic diet and in plasma samples of humans, men and women, participating in a six-month ketogenic diet trial. So it's not only rodents, it's even in humans. There is an increase in uh, SASP and cell senescence. Therefore, given that these changes were observed in key organs, such as the heart and kidney, where the accumulation of senescent cells can contribute to systemic inflammation and toxicity, these findings have important clinical implications. Therefore, my friend, be careful. Be careful. It is crucial to be mindful of the quality and type of foods you consume and to avoid following fat diets that can be very, very, very dangerous for your health. Yes, you might lose some kilos, but the metabolic, long-term metabolic and molecular consequences can be very, very dangerous for your long-term health. So be careful, be mindful, and don't follow fat diets promoted by influencers and uh, people that, you know, they have no idea of how the human body works. Thank you for listening. As always, uh, this is Longevity Now, Longevity Now FL, uh, the channel of the, of, uh, the uh, science and philosophy of health, well-being and longevity. I'm uh, Luigi Fontana. Uh, professor of Medicine, Scientific Director of Charles Perkins Center RPA Clinic and Director of the Health for Life, the CPC RPA Health for Life program and a clinical academic uh, in the Department of Endocrinology of the Royal Prince Alfred Hospital in Sydney.